In this quaint Scottish fishing village lies something far more sinister. In today's video, we ask the question, is this shore haunted? There is method to my madness, or at least I hope that there is method to my madness. And today, for a spooky, spectacular experience, we are going to be looking at fluorescence on the rocky shore, which is this. Now to see this, we are going to be looking at marine creatures under UV light, which is really, really awesome. Typically, this is done at night. When it's pitch black, you can use UV light to see marine creatures glow. But rock pooling at night isn't accessible for everyone. And so I've come up with my own little tweak of methodology. I'm putting a blackout curtain over my head so that I can show you an easy way to see this fluorescence in the daylight with just a few simple things to come rock pooling. So if you want to learn how to do this yourself, then I have another separate video, which I will link up here, showing you what you need to take to the rocky shore to be able to see glowing sea creatures. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to be showing you what we find and uh, the spooky marine life that glows up like fairy lights. I would also like to add that part of the reason I chose to do this instead of doing it at night is that, well, my Halloween costume is also so good. Ooh. First up is these awesome, awesome hermit crabs. Now, their legs and little markings on them just light up under UV fluorescence. It's beautiful and incredible, and if you get the chance to see this for yourselves, you have to. These are whelk eggs, so they're actually laid by a snail, but when you look at them up close, under UV light, the kind of, I don't know, lines or structure of the eggs just kind of really pop and they kind of glowed this bright blue and I, I really wonder why. So how do marine creatures fluoresce? Well, they have proteins in their body that take the UV light and convert it to a different wavelength. That means they kind of admit that light back, which means that they look like they're glowing. So, but why do they do this? Not really sure why they do this either, which makes it incredibly interesting and fascinating. Some creatures, that might just be there as a side effect to something else. People think that potentially fluorescence helps with UV protection, which is protection from the sun's rays, or that photosynthetic algae um, in their bodies that they share with, that's useful to them to be able to convert um, light energy. And so the fluorescence might just be a side effect of them developing that adaptation. It might be a way of communicating between different species. We don't find them here in the UK, but things like mantis shrimps can actually see in UV. Potentially, it's just a marker for other creatures to look at and see and, you know, communication between species. And we just don't quite understand that because we can't see UV ourselves and we don't know enough about those creatures. Or it could be a way for predator-prey interactions and maybe the predator or prey that 
the fluorescence was therefore isn't around anymore. Maybe it got killed off a few million years ago, but they've just decided to keep glowing because why not? But because we don't particularly know exactly why species fluoresce, we don't have a lot of information on the types of species that do and don't. We know that fluorescence is a broad range from things like crustaceans to um, anemones and hydroids and corals all the way to shrimps and loads, loads of different species in the sea, especially in the deep sea, that fluoresce. So for today's video, as well as being spooky, because you know, this is scary stuff, um, <laughs> we are going to play a game. And the game is called Fluoresce. No, wait, let me just say that wrong. And the game is called Flore Yes or No. Fluoresce or No. Flor the word fluorescent with yes on the end or no. Theme tune! Do, 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 do. Fluorescent yes? No. Do, 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 do. Fluorescent or no? Welcome to the stadium. Today we are talking about fluorescent or no. Will we say yes to the fluorescent with this little isopod here? Only time will tell. Here comes the UV light. No. No, I'm sorry everyone, I'm sorry. This, this little creature, no. No, would, no. Why, that is quite remarkable though, because he looks almost invisible in the darkness and UV light and completely visible in light. Then again, I suppose that is how light works. Next up everyone, very exciting, very exciting here. Today we have a green sea urchin. Let's see if those spines shine. My goodness, everyone, yes they do. Yes they do indeed. That is a yes to the fluoresce. So lucky today to find this urchin. I would have thought that the urchin spines would glow, which actually they do, and you can see that, but urchins have these little tiny like, they've got like tube feet in between the spines, and that helps them pick up stuff and move things all the way around to the mouth, and the spines are more there for protection. And actually they are glowing far more than the spines, although the spines are glowing, and that is really really awesome and incredible to see and especially all the tube feet around its mouth which is really important in making sure that all the food goes to its mouth they are really cool and really glowing and we're really lucky to find this guy today because i mean they're beautiful anyway but they are just incredible under uv light how could rock pulling get more awesome with a torch of purpleness our next contestant tonight is a little common shore crab. Let's see how he does against the Florel Yes or No game. Man, that's a bad name. to all you folks watching at home that is a yes a mighty fine yes
can you believe that this little tiny crab was glowing so beautifully i oh, sorry <laughs> curtain hair oh it i can't believe that his legs and the little like notches like um i don't know what they're called actually i can't remember the little um oh my god my memory's completely failing me the little spiky things next to the eyes on crabs and their eyes and like some of the things on the undertone were like completely glowing it was beautiful i mean i i have a pretty high opinion of crabs but my opinion of crabs have just got even higher which um i mean that is shocking to me <laughs> how amazing and you it really works it really works just like a little uh curtain thing and the torch and you can see this incredible life under uv so cool and next up we have this a purple top shell which looks absolutely fantastic in the light but let us see what happens when we put it under uv whoa interestingly the only really fluorescent bit is that top bit but i'm still gonna say yes to the fluorescent Next up is the beetle anemone. Will he glow or no? Yes, look at that beautiful spotted pattern. This is a large, beautiful dahlia anemone with the most gorgeous, colourful tentacles. Let us see if this glows in the dark. I mean, it looks amazing in light. Let's see what it looks like under UV. Whoa, actually, no, no fluorescence. None whatsoever. It's really interesting what you think you're gonna find like i found a dahlia anemone which i didn't think i would find and i've never found one on the shore before and it's colorful and stripy and huge and i knew the beetle anemone had amazing um like uh fluorescence and i thought yes this is gonna be incredible it's gonna be like a light show and nothing that species doesn't fluoresce and i think that's really interesting and i mean we don't know why species fluoresce so why should that fluoresce just because it's colorful doesn't make any sense there's no justification for that it's just what i thought but it's really incredible that this whole mysterious world that we haven't worked out is unlocked by uv light and and it's like hit or miss it really is a game of fluoresce or yes bless oh i can't say that one let's go with say yes to the fluorescence say yes to the fluorescence i don't know the game the camera is really struggling to pick up certain stuff so this is really incredible because i think that when you guys go and do this for yourselves it's going to be 10 times better because you see so much more with your eye they're really struggling to pick up red which i find really interesting definitely something to do with the wavelengths but there's these bits of little red seaweed maybe and a bit of a couple of bits of red worm almost and and you can't really see them with the naked eye like even in in light you you wouldn't pick up on it and you shine this uv light and it's like a light show it's like a beacon it's it's really glows really really bright and you take the light away and it's immediately gone and you're like wait what and it's really fascinating and i managed to capture that and that's really cool because it's like unlocking this weird mystery world that exists in uv light and doesn't exist well it obviously still exists but it doesn't exist to our eyes anyway and normally under normal light and it's it's really incredible like I, I'm just discovering this after so many years of rock pulling and I just want to keep coming back which is why having the 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 torch and the blackout curtain is useful because if I find something interesting in the daylight I'll be able to like whip that out and uh 
use that to have a look at it under UV light. I won't have to wait for a spe specific night tide. Just have a go for yourself because it's, it really is, it feels like you're being transported into some sort of like the world of Avatar or something. It's beautiful and I, I can't believe that the rocky shore could get more beautiful to me and um, it has. And I can't believe I've never done this before. I'm so excited, I could do this all the time now. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. That's all we've got time for. And I, I mean, there's still so many species that we need to see if they fluoresce or no, or say yes to the fluoresce, or comment below if you've got a better name, but see if they fluoresce. And I'm so excited to come back and do more. If you wanna see more, then make sure to comment below. Let me know what you think. What was the spookiest? What was the most amazing to you guys? And uh, subscribe so that I know that you guys like this content and you won't miss out when that content appears. So have a, a very scary Halloween. And uh, let me know if anyone's dressing up as a ghost with, uh, cause, uh, I'm, I'm the resident ghost of the rock, rocky shore. <laughs> Bye everyone.